Skechers is a brand that I honestly have very little respect for. They're being sued by just about every major footwear brand for essentially just straight up copying designs like this, and this, and this, and this. Three hours later. And this, and this. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review of the sketchy the Skechers Galaxy. This is one of a couple different soccer cleats currently on offer from the Skechers brand. And given their reputation and the fact that I just don't really like them that much, I didn't really follow Skechers too closely. I just hear about them in the news when they would copy whichever brand sneakers. But they do actually make soccer cleats. And to my surprise, these are actually not that bad. There are things about them that I'm not so crazy about, but considering the retail price is only $85, you can get them on sale for about $45. Considering how inexpensive it is, the quality and what you're getting for the price is better than some of the takedown models from major brands. So I'm gonna discuss that in today's video, go over all the details, tell you what I like, tell you what I dislike, and of course, take a look at how they fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more about the Skechers Galaxy, please stick around and watch the entire video. And if you're interested in a pair for yourself, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen, or you can click the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website, where you will find Buy It Now links for this particular shoe in multiple different colorways for 45 bucks. Included with the shoes, which you shouldn't be surprised about, is a box. This is what it looks like. There's nothing inside extra, but there is a fail to be found. So you can see there's a guy who's maybe a Skechers sponsored athlete. That would be really cool to be sponsored by Skechers. But then you're gonna find a picture of the shoe. And this is actually what you'll find on most websites selling this particular product, where notice it has this extra extended pull tab piece on the back heel, and then the Skechers S is actually silver as opposed to neon yellow. Then you get to see the real product and it doesn't have the pull tab and the Skechers S is neon yellow, not silver. So that's what's inside the box and this is the actual product. So that in itself is a little bit of a fail. Starting off with the upper, it is simply listed in the tech specs as a synthetic upper with a textured finish on the surface. And I think that perfectly describes what's going on here. The shoe itself has a very kind of mercurial-esque silhouette to it in terms of just the low profile design, the one piece upper. And that's not to say they copied the mercurial here. It's kind of just what modern soccer cleats have become in terms of overall styling. So it's not surprising that it looks the way that it does. The synthetic material on the other hand though, I was expecting it to feel very plasticky and cheap. It does not, it actually feels quite nice. Not to say this is premium, it doesn't feel like a $200, $300 shoe by any means, but it doesn't have a rigid sensation, which is what I was expecting based on the look. Um, it's actually got a nice padded lining on the inside, kind of a backing material. And then the surface material, while it is kind of a plasticky synthetic, it's got good flexibility to it. It doesn't feel rigid on your feet. And really, the upper feels really good out of the box and really comfortable. And the touch on the ball that it provides, given that it is completely seamless construction, is actually pretty decent overall. It's not overly bulky. You can get an idea of the thickness right here based on that side profile. And again, I was really, really impressed. The texturing on the surface is very, very minimal. For the most part, it feels pretty much completely smooth on the ball. And really, it's, it's much better than I was expecting. The lacing system runs through the middle, as you guys can see, and it features a pretty standard synthetic tongue that's very similar material to what you're gonna find for the rest of the upper. Again, not plasticky or cheap feeling like you can find on a lot of takedown models at the $80 price point. And it even has a memory foam insert running through the middle. Again, a very premium feature that you would expect to find on a better quality shoe, not necessarily on a pair of Skechers. The laces are a little bit weird in that they're elasticated, which is, unusual, not, they don't stretch that much, but it's got this really weird elasticated sensation to it, which is noticeable the first couple times that you lace them up, but it is something that you definitely get used to. And then of course you have the cut at the heel, which is pretty straightforward. I know on the box it shows that little extension piece at the back. It doesn't actually come with that in any of the colors that show that particular piece from what I understand. So it is a standard low cut with a nice deep fit in the heel. Again, the fit of this shoe and overall shape, given the one piece construction of the upper, is something that I thought was for sure not going to be very good, but I was very pleasantly surprised. What's kind of funny in terms of what's listed in the tech specs is the quick fit portal heel for easy on and off. So they're not touting the material, they're not touting lockdown, they're actually saying that the heel was designed to be put on and taken off 
as easily as possible. So ease of access is something they were very concerned with with this particular design, according to the tech specs, which is very not performance oriented, but it's Skechers after all. So what can you really expect? The heel liner, nicely padded, and it's a nice quality synthetic leather liner. So again, kind of along the lines of what you would expect from a better quality shoe in general. So nothing cheap there whatsoever. The insole, fully removable. I'll give you guys a quick look at that. It features this branding right here that says Goga Max. I have no idea what that means. There's nothing about it in the tech specs. And really it's just a mesh liner on top and a very, very ordinary piece of foam. It doesn't feel like anything special whatsoever. It's really just the typical soccer cleat insole. So there's nothing about this that again is better or worse than what you're gonna find from 99% of soccer cleats out there. So no major complaints from me in that regard. And the fact that it's removable is also something that's a little bit surprising because it is more expensive to make an insole like this rather than just have a completely flat piece of foam that's glued in. So that in itself is a much more premium feature than I was expecting from this shoe. And then you have the sole plate and stud pattern, which again was probably the most surprising aspect of this particular shoe and that it's actually really, really nice. It doesn't look cheap at all. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And it's a PBAX TPU combination. So you do actually have PBAX stiffener bars running through the midfoot area, basically these neon yellow parts. That's where you have the PBAX. So it's a little bit stiffened in certain areas. It's got good flexibility to it as well. And again, it's just really, really nice. It's got these raised pieces at the side that are kind of reminiscent of what you would find on the Hypervenom model in terms of just stabilizing your heel, preventing it from sliding from side to side. It's got good thickness to it. It feels solid underfoot. And then as far as the stud pattern is concerned, again, they did not copy anybody. They just went with a fairly standard bladed layout where you have three bladed studs along the outside of the forefoot on both sides. The ones on the lateral side have a little bit of a kink in them. So it is kind of mercurial-esque, I would say, in terms of the shape of the studs. You have two support studs in the middle, which is not unusual at all. And then four bladed studs under the heel that kind of have this triangular shape. So a little bit of Adidas in there, a little bit of mercurial in there. But again, I don't think that they straight up blatantly ripped anybody off here. And the overall package performs well, it feels good. And again, it's an $85 price point, which I wouldn't even say is outrageous at that particular price, given the quality of the shoe. But for 45 bucks, honestly, this is really, really solid. I am pleasantly surprised by Skechers here. And honestly, I thought they were really sketchy. In regards to weight, the Skechers Galaxy in a size 9 US weighs in at 9.3 ounces, which I guess if there is one downfall to this particular shoe, it would be the weight. And that's not to say that 9.3 ounces is really heavy feeling on feet. The shoes are very comfortable. They feel nice and solid as well. But comparatively, in comparison to something like a Mercurial Victory 6, those are gonna weigh in at about a full ounce less than the Skechers Galaxy. But again, those don't feature a sole plate that I think is as good quality as what you're getting here. This is a very solid construction. And again, it's not super light, but you're getting them for about 45 bucks. I think there's only so much you can expect. Not the lightest shoe in the world, but I wasn't really expecting them to be super light either. As far as the look of the shoe is concerned, honestly, they don't look that bad to me. I know they're Skechers and some people will get made fun of because they are Skechers, but the overall build quality, the finish on the materials, the seams, everything is very well put together. So like I said, there's nothing about this shoe that screams being really, really cheap in my opinion. A lot of you guys did point out though, that it does look a little bit like the New Balance Furon in this particular colorway and really, I guess there are some similarities in terms of the overall design, but I think the similarities are more so just based on the colorway similarities rather than Skechers actually copying New Balance here. I don't think it's all that, I guess, original to put your logo in the middle on the lateral side of the shoe, which obviously Skechers has done very similar to New Balance. I'm not even really sure what the timeline is between these two shoes. If this came out before this, I couldn't really tell you that because I'm not really up on my Skechers releases, but, I would say that the similarities between these two shoes are more so based on the colorway rather than actual design. Because aside from the color and where the logo is positioned on the lateral side, there's really nothing else about the two that's all that similar. You could make an argument for the texturing maybe, but again, it's different enough. And I don't think that New Balance, if they really want to pursue some kind of lawsuit, has enough in terms of Skechers copying them to, to sue them for this. So in that regard, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a copycat design of any brand or any shoe in particular. And again, from a visual standpoint, I actually think they look pretty decent. All right, so as you can see, I swapped out the stock gray laces for some neon yellow reflective SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, 
The website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. There'll be a little pop-up on screen as well as a link down below in the description. So if you're interested in a pair, be sure to go ahead and check that out. On feet, the Skechers Galaxies actually feel really, really good. The upper has a nice padded lining on the inside that gives it a nice softness on feet and it doesn't feel plasticky or rigid, which is something that's always a concern with lower end synthetics. So that's something that I was really impressed with because from the outside, it definitely does have that kind of plasticky look to it, but they don't feel like that at all. I love the fact that it has the memory foam insert in the tongue. Again, it's above average in terms of overall quality for shoes around the $80 price point. And the sole plate feels really good underfoot as well. It's got a high end soccer cleat vibe to it, which again, very surprising considering the low price point and the brand, they are Skechers after all. As far as the fit is concerned, they fit quite nicely. It's got that mercurial look to it, but it definitely is a lot wider overall. This is one of those shoes that I would say is gonna fit just about everybody pretty comfortably, but don't expect too much stretch out of the upper just given the synthetic material that it's made out of. But for the most part, again, I think these are gonna be suitable for most foot types. And as far as the sizing is concerned, I went with my usual size nine US here and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size for the best possible fit. Overall though, really, really impressed with almost everything about these. They're very comfortable on feet and they fit surprisingly well. Anyways guys, that is it for my review. If I'm being 100% honest with you guys, this is a shoe that I ordered in with the expectation that they were gonna be terrible and it was gonna be a funny video for me to rip on them for 10 minutes straight. But to my surprise, they're much better than I was expecting to the point where I would actually go as far as to recommend a Skechers soccer cleat. I really do think that the Skechers Galaxy is a very, very solid option if you're on a lower budget. The $85 price point, I honestly don't think is out of line given the quality of the shoe. The sole plate and stud pattern, honestly, I think it's better than anything else at this particular price point from any major brand. Really, really impressive. And considering you can get these right now on sale in multiple different colorways for 45 bucks, as long as you don't mind wearing a Skechers soccer cleat, this is a shoe that, like I said, you should strongly consider because the quality for what you're paying is a really, really good value. So if you're interested in a pair of Skechers, again, it's the first link down below in the description. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find multiple different Buy It Now links in various different colorways of this particular shoe, including this one for $45. Again, if you have any questions regarding these shoes, leave them down below in the comments and I'll do an get and answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful, informative, maybe even a little bit sketchy, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. So follow me there if you don't already. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.